Question 20D asks us to find the angle BDC correct to one decimal place. To do this, we're going to have to use the sine law, which is sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. And we're going to have to rearrange this so that we can find this angle. And so we're going to have to at some point take um, an inverse sine. So this is an angle, say, we're looking for. So we're going to have to rearrange this equation. So when we rearrange it to find the value of angle A, we're first going to have to, what we want to do is to isolate A. So we have this angle here on one side. So what we're going to do first is multiply by this length A on both sides. So we get sine A is equal to A sine B over B. And then we're going to have to take um, the inverse of this trigon trigonometric function, the sine function, from both sides. So we get a is equal to sine to the minus 1, a sine b over b. So now all we need to do is to find values for a, this length here, b, this other length, and this angle here, small b. So how will we do that? So we're looking to find this angle here, BDC, and we want to see which length, so which side of the tri of a triangle is directly opposite it. So we have this one BC, but since BC is unknown, we could use 12 instead. And if we were to use 12, we have to take as A here, the whole of this, so we'd have to take B, C, D plus 30 as our A. So we have our value for A, little a, and we have our value for big A, the side or the length, which is 12. Now we just need to find values for little b and big B. So which angle could we use? Well, we know this angle here, CAD. So we could definitely use CAD as our small b. And CAD is 30 degrees. How about for our big B? It would be this length here, CD. We calculated CD as 7.6 previously and it might be better for us to work to more than one decimal place. So we'll put CD as 7.565. So let's plug our values of A, big A, B and big B into this equation. We have the angle BCD plus 30 degrees is equal to arc sine and then all in brackets, 12 times by sine 30 divided by 7.565. And what happens when we subtract 30 degrees from both sides and, cal and calculate the value of BCD? We get BCD is equal to 22.5 correct to one decimal place, so 22.5 degrees.